first question. So our first question, what or who inspired you to pursue your career of being the head of HDFC? Anika, that's an excellent question. Uh, no one single person inspired me to follow this career. Lots of people saw, you know, a former principal, a teacher, uh, people I knew. But I tell you what really made me follow this career was I, I think education is the most important thing in the world. Everybody needs to be educated. We need to be well educated because I think it makes us a better society. It makes us a fairer society. And everybody is treated uh, uh, equitably and justly. And that was important for me. So I did, I decided to go into education because I wanted to make a difference and make a better place, a better world. Before we go any further, I must say I completely agree with you. Thank you, Anika. I'm glad. I think it's the most important thing we can do. Okay, second question. How has your life changed because of COVID? Arjun, probably the same way your life has. Yeah. We would have normally been having this meeting in person. I would have come to your school and we would have sat down in a classroom and had a conversation. So there's one example. We're doing so many things virtual. Um, you know, it's a bit, uh, some parts of it is a bit sad because I don't get to see uh, my friends and family as often. You know, my brothers who live out of, out of, the, out of town. You know, I see my wife and I don't, one of my uh, kids is in the United States. I don't get to see him very often. So that's tough. Um, and no traveling. We like to travel. We go traveling quite a bit, not being able to travel. And all the other um, uh, things we have to do, wear masks and all that stuff. Those are all kinds of things that life has changed. But I know those are temporary. So that's okay because, you know, if we do all the right things now, then eventually we won't have to do those things and we'll be kind of back to normal and we'd be able to meet in person. So it's made my job harder, though, uh, because I have to do everything virtually. I bet your school's harder for you guys because you're doing it on camera all the time. And, um, you know, I, I, plus I can see you two, Anika and Arjun, you're people who like to be with other people, right? Yeah. And and that's hard. So that's been tough. But there's lots of good things come out of it. We, we're now more flexible. We understand technology better. Uh, we're more resilient. And and I think we're more caring. We, we care more about elderly people. We care more about each other. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's true. To keep everyone safe. Yeah. Yeah. So when you received this job, how did people support or oppose you? Well, I don't know if anybody opposed me. There might have been, but I, if they did, I never heard from them. But I had lots of support because before I became the director, I was a superintendent in the board. And before that, I had been a principal. And so lots of people in the board know, knew me. And I'd done lots of work and uh, worked with lots of students and families and, and lots and lots of staff. So when I became director, I had lots of support. There's obviously, there's always going to be someone not happy, right? Um, or opposing, but they never voiced it to me. No one ever said anything to me. I've had nothing but support from families and parents and, and uh, 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 teachers and principals and staff and, uh, and my colleagues. Uh, um, another question. If you could change one thing about the world, what would it be? Oh, Arjun, one thing. Yeah. That's a massive question. Because I'll tell you the two things I'm most concerned about. I'm concerned about the environment. I'm really, I, I, I worry that we're wrecking our environment to the point that it can't get fixed. I think it can still be fixed and I'm hoping kids like you, as you get older, you'll be the ones that fix it. And the other one is that everybody is treated fairly. So we have no hunger. We have no other things. So that's a, if I had to pick one, uh, boy, I don't know. I think, <laughs> you know what? If I had to pick one, I think that everybody in the world is treated fairly and equally or equitably. Because if we were, we'd all look after the environment we'd all worry about the environment together. So I think that's the one. Yeah, that's a very good reason. So um, what is the hardest part of your job? 
Um, it, I have lots of hard parts to my job. Um, uh, I've had to close a couple of schools, like because we didn't have enough students. So we closed them and that was hard for a community because now they lost their local school. That was hard. Um, saying no to people is sometimes hard. You know, I, I hire a lot of people. So I interview a whole bunch of people, say, I, whatever, say I'm hiring uh, two people and I, I interview 10 people. Well, I hire two, but I got to tell eight people, sorry, you didn't get the job. That's hard. Um, you know, and, and it, it's hard sometimes when we haven't been able to help kids the way we wanted to help them. We have some kids, you know, some kids in the s school system that have special needs and things and they struggle and I don't think we've been able to help them as much as I would have liked to help them. Okay. Uh, what are some struggles you have been facing during the lockdown? Um, I'll tell you one of the things that, is, that I've struggled during the lockdown is things seem to change every day. The government, we get a system in place, like just now, you guys are, are shut down out of schools. Uh, and that happened during the spring break. And that happened just like that, just in a second. And that's a struggle because the people who make those decisions, governments and whoever, they think it's so easy just to go from one to the other. But we've got a lot of work to do. And it's not, I don't think it's necessary that the decisions always be made in, in, in one minute. They could be taken over two days and we would have a chance to prepare. We'd have a chance to prepare families. We'd have a chance to prepare all the kids and so on. But sometimes, so that's been a struggle. And then all of a sudden it changes the next day. Someone else makes another announcement. So that's been tough. It's been a lot of long, long nights. Do you know, you know, Anika and Arjun, I'm actually taking a holiday day tomorrow. Um, that's the first holiday day I've had since last March, a year ago. Wow. March. Oh my God. <laughs> and that includes weekends. I worked every weekend and every day and tomorrow I'm taking a day that, off. That was, uh, that's, that's a lot of work. That's a yeah. lot of work. <laughs> it is. It is. How rarely they must get to see you. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? I love public education and I love supporting and, and doing my job because it makes the world a better place and the world's a better place when kids like you and your friends and other kids in our board, they start, you know, as you get older and you go to high school and you go to university or sometimes college, but you, and then you start making a difference. You know, one of my former students, I was talking to him just about two weeks ago. Um, and he was, when I was a teacher, he's one of my former students. He's now the head of brain surgery in Ottawa Hospital. So that's nice for me to know that a student has really done that and he's doing something really, really important, right? Wow, impressive. Okay. Oh, so During COVID, how have you adapted to these new changes in both your personal life and your work life? Well, personal life, uh, I'm home more frequently. Um, you know, I uh, instead of being at my office every day of the week, I'm home I go to I go to my office maybe uh, two, two times a week or three times a week, and then the rest of the time I'm at home. So I actually I I see my wife a lot more, <laughs> and uh, and the other thing that's kind of good is uh, I'm able to go out during the day. Like just before I had this call with you guys, I I was out for a walk with my dog. Well, when I, when I go to work, I can't do that, right? Because the dog's here and so on. So that, that's that been positive. That's been good. Yeah. But it also means we haven't, as I said earlier, we haven't seen our friends and family as often as we would like. We haven't been able to socialize. I like going out to a restaurant to have a nice dinner, family dinner. Haven't been in a restaurant like everybody else in probably 13, 14 months, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, um, so that's in the personal, professional it's just been, I, I don't know about you guys, but when you're on camera all day, I sometimes have a headache at the end of the day. Uh, meetings are hard uh, because you just, you know, if you have four or five or six other people and you guys have lots in your classes on there, it's hard to keep track of who's speaking and what they're saying and 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 so on. So it, it, it does make it harder, that's for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Tell me about a conflict you have faced with work, uh, uh, with uh, at work, and how you have dealt with it. Say that again, Arjun. Sorry. Uh, tell me about a conflict that you have faced at work and how you dealt with it. Oh well, here's a here's a a, a conflict I dealt with at work. A few weeks ago, there was a protest at the board, uh, and it was people protesting against uh, masks. Mm -hmm. And they were protesting against uh, um, uh, vaccines and they were protesting against shutdowns and so on. And there was quite a few people and they had signs and stuff. So I put on my mask and I went out to speak to them. And some of those people were pretty angry and they were yelling at me and and uh, shouting at me and and stuff. But I just calmly spoke to them and I said, I'm just here to listen to your complaints and your concerns. and. They had a petition. I said, give me your petition. And uh, and eventually everything calmed down. And then I just thanked them and I left. Um, wow. So, you know, you just have to stay calm in those situations. Because when I first went out there, people were pointing fingers at me and shouting at me and, and things like that. So. Mm. Um, what is your greatest concern about the world state right now? I think... Uh, well, as you'd asked earlier, I think the environment's a big one, but I think uh, I, I think poverty and justice, uh, because I think if we can help with poverty and justice, we'll be able to look after the environment. And justice, I mean, like, you know, um, looking after people in the world who are really poor, people who uh, have mental health issues, people who have special needs, people who might be uh, victims of racism, right? And we know that happens as well. We've got to make a better world that way. And if we do, I think then, because my, my theory is, Anika and Arjun, if we do those problems and, and, and work to fix them, then we can all together fix the biggest problem, which is the environmental problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what did you do during your lockdown? Um, I walked my dog. I exercise. I like to read books, so I read a lot. Mm -hmm. I've been watching Netflix like everybody else. Yeah. Uh, um, and uh, I tell you one good thing is when when both our sons were home um, from school, they're at university. One's at university, and the other's working. We had more family dinners because my my boys are older than you guys. Obviously, they're in their twenties, but we had more family dinners. That was really nice. We'd sit around and have a family dinner. We don't get much of that opportunity anymore, but every night we had one. It was great. I loved it. Nice. A benefit of everyone being online, my family gets to have family dinners. My dad, before lockdown, he used to not come home until at least 10 p.m. and we'd be asleep. Yeah. And now your dad's home, right? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. You have nice family time and stuff. It's great. It's great. And I bet you two are a bit closer. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now, what book or movie character do you relate to the most? Oh, boy. Anika and Arjun, you guys ha ask tough questions. <laughs> I don't know who I relate to the most as uh, a movie character or a book. It could be any character. You, Let, you know what? Let me... Just hang on a second. My wife's downstairs. I'm going to ask her what she thinks. Do you mind? Oh, nice. oh not at all. <laughs> that would be cool. Okay. Hey, Teresa. I'm talking to two, two kids who are interviewing me. And one of the questions is, what movie character do I most appear like? I said, let me ask my wife. <laughs> no, just like who am I like? <laughs> Yeah. Excellent conversation. No, you, you, are, you are your own character. Ah, she says I'm my own character. <laughs> and she says they haven't made a movie about me yet. <laughs> Greatest strength, and if it did help you get through COVID, how did it? 
I think my greatest strength is I like people. I like talking to people. I like hanging out with people. I like socializing, joking around. And I think that's what helps me get through COVID. Amazing. Amazing. Socializing. Yeah. Socialism uh, is definitely close enough. Yeah. Um, have you ever experienced something like this as a child? Not exactly a lockdown, but like being grounded for a long time or something? No, I haven't. Um, I have I have never experienced anything like this. And I think uh, I think there's very few people that have. I mean, there are people in this world who have grown up in war zones and so on who have experienced that. Um, I guess the the only the only comparison, but it was different. I lived in I lived in Africa. I lived in a village in Africa and I was very isolated in that village uh from my family and friends i was working there teaching school and so i was there for over a year and so it's not the same as a pandemic but because i wasn't locked down but i was on my own a lot at that time oh that's okay okay um mr miller you're frozen okay uh what was your favorite part about your job talking to students and being with students and learning from students and what we're doing right now i had to tell you i love this i like being a teacher i like being in the classroom teaching and the reason i like being in the classroom teaching i was a i was a high school teacher was because i liked interacting with the students and watching them learn and and learning from them so kid interaction yeah i'll write that down <laughs> Exactly. Okay. Do you have a message for kids and youth to get through these troubled times? Yeah, I do. Because you know what? This has been tough, but the, but the, but the kids have learned a lot. It's been really tough for kids. But you know what? I'm saying to kids, let's not look at all the bad things that happened. You know, you weren't able to have school sports and school musicals and plays and a lot of things that you couldn't do couldn't see your friends and that but let's look at the good things that happened well you got closer to your families that's great um you developed skills in your own self that you're more resilient you're probably more confident you're more able to make changes and those are fantastic for when you leave school and when you go out to be an adult and and in the workforce, you kind of, you know, I don't know if you know this expression, but you kind of have learned how to roll with the punches, so to speak, you know. And so I think the real good things for the kids is, and I'm going to use it this way as an analogy, you've been knocked down a lot. You know? I get knocked down. With the lead, I do not lock down, knock down, kind of like you got knocked over. But every single time you got back up on your feet. And I think that's been a really great learning for kids. And it shows you how great you guys are, that how resilient uh, kids are, that they're able just to, they've learned that. So I think that's been a real positive in this pandemic. Okay. Um, has anything interesting happened to you lately? <laughs> uh, let me think about that. <laughs> I'm sure because of COVID, you can't be doing anything more interesting than sitting on your couch watching it. Yeah, I don't know. What the heck? Oh, I'll tell you what happened to me that's interesting today. Oh. Just this morning, my wife and I were walking our dog and um, we were uh, in our neighborhood. I live, we live in Toronto and we were walking in our neighborhood and they're filming a movie in our neighborhood. So I went up to the guys filming the movie and I said, what's what's the movie you're filming? And he goes, oh, it's for Netflix. And I said, uh, oh, what's uh, any big stars in it? He says, no, there's no uh, uh, big stars, North American stars, but lots of Bollywood stars. In it. And the name of the movie is Wedding Seasons, and it's 17 weddings. And it's going to be on, uh, on Netflix in uh, January of next year. So that was interesting, watching them do that, film the movie. I didn't see any of the Bollywood stars, though. <laughs> I, would, I would like to see your reaction when you see your neighborhood come on camera. Like, maybe uh, 
will show, I will show up on this walk. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm going to be in the movie, walking the dog. <laughs> The Bollywood movie will be great, though. Lots of colors and singing and dancing. And I'd imagine nothing less for a wedding. So what are some new things you learned or reflected upon during the lockdown? Well, one is the one I said about kids. We've learned to be resilient. We've learned to roll with the punches. We've learned to, uh, to uh, uh, I think we've learned to care for each other better, um, care for ourselves and care for each other. We are more concerned about people. Um, I've learned that um, um, as a society, as a country, as a society, as a city, as a school board, we can take a lot and still everybody can focus on what's important and what's important is education and we've kept it going and so on. Um, so yeah, I've learned all those things. Um, uh, for each of your jobs, how did you feel when you started them? Like when you were a teacher, like when you started being a teacher, when you became the principal for the, uh, when you started being the principal and then when you uh, eventually made it to the head of HDSB. Uh, Arjun, you know, um, I used to have a job that I wasn't uh, in education. I was working in industry and oh. I left that for, I left that after a few years and I became a teacher. And this will tell you when I was a teacher and it was a long time ago, uh, I got my paycheck mm -hmm. and I was standing there and I, this is how much I loved the job. I said, I can't believe they actually pay me to do this job. I love it so much. <laughs> uh, and so then, then I became a principal and a, uh, a principal is a great job because, you know, I used to say to everybody, you know, the best part about it being a principal, I just used to wander around the halls talking to kids. And uh, I like, I'd walk into the gym and kids were playing basketball. I'd start playing with them or uh, I'd go into the theater and kids were doing some dance and I'd try to do it. It was always terrible, but uh, I, so yeah, so the, being a principal was really cool. And then when I got this job, this job is different. Um, what I liked about this job, though, is that I think I think I love public education. And I think being a director, I could help everybody else love it as well and, and, and understand the importance of it. So that's what I liked about it. Actually, our principal, he actually used to wander around. Uh, like talking to kids, uh, Wait, like just like you. Around? Used to wander. Yeah, around. he yes. wanders out on the playground. Who's your principal? Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Lal. Oh, I know Mr. Lal very well. He uh, he caught us swinging on a tree branch that was half broken, and then he banned us from going into the forest clearing. <laughs> Wait, uh. did you do that? Yes. And then I went to other kids. He went. <laughs> he did monkey business. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. <laughs> Good. Uh, All right, you Thank too. you. I love this. I really enjoyed this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And good work on that. I, I'm one of these days. I'm going to see your guys' names and lights, <laughs> building stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Arj Arjun. Want to be a rocket engineer? Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Anika, I Arjun, Arj. Thank you very much. Thank you I'll so much. Stay you. safe. Thank you so much. Bye bye. 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 Bye.